Okay, now that you own Testor 6.6, uh, we're going to add a deposit address for it. And uh, what a deposit address is, is where the algo or NFTs or assets will go when sending to Testor 6.6. So it's very important to set this if you plan on transacting with the name. If you plan on just owning the name, I wouldn't say this is a necessity to set because what this also does is aid in the reverse lookup on the name. So if somebody if somebody is looking up uh, ORJX4S, this wallet address here, uh, and trying to find its NFD, it needs this to be set. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just set it as the ORJX address and hit update. And now it shows you uh, the breakdown of the fees here to update the field and to call the smart sig. And so I'm just going to sign that. And confirm. And now you see here, the deposit address is set. Um, if you have signing rights to another address, uh, you can switch this deposit address. It doesn't have to be the owner of the NFD, which is a uh, important distinction um, and maybe not immediately obvious. So it's important to realize that the deposit address not necessarily the same as the owner address. It just means that the owner can sign uh, for it. So they own the keys for that other wallet. It's just not in that other wallet. Um, and another important thing that setting the deposit address does is it enables reverse lookup on that wallet. So if somebody is looking up this ORX4, ORJX4S wallet, uh, and they want to find its NFD, they need the deposit address to do that. Um, so now you see, now that it's updated, uh, that this shows up in the reverse address code. And you could probably also see it here. Um, if I refresh it, I don't know how long the cache is there for. There we go. Uh, now you see it updating. Test or 6.6 is now uh, showing in the reverse address code. So I'm going to go back into Testor um, and I'm just going to explain uh, linking addresses really quick. So really the only reason you would want to link addresses is if you're a creator or you're a project and you have multiple uh, wallet addresses and you want them to all be um, viewable and queryable uh, just through like on-chain mechanisms. So whenever anybody looks up this NFD, instead of getting one address back, they're going to get an array of addresses back. So for people like artists who have multiple different creator addresses, like multiple different series from different wallets, you're probably going to want to create an artist NFD and link all of your creator wallets to that NFD. Um, and I think that just about does it for, uh, for wallets.